guys what's up so i'm currently on my lunch break it is 11 47 um 11 47 in the afternoon and i'm just kind of like taking a moment to myself so um pretty much i'm kind of like a little bit in my feelings you guys like you know that today is my last day working oh snap let me go the other way go on like i'm going home i mean low key i want to but Um, but I'm liking my feelings a little bit because, you know, it's my last day today and I don't know, my feelings are just hurt, I should say. Like, I'm just disappointed, but I guess I shouldn't be. I should have saw this coming. I mean, we are all just numbers for corporate, right? Like, they don't really care about us. All they care about is you getting X, Y, and Z done. So we have this thing at Primark where we have like a briefing in the morning. Let me straighten you guys out a little bit. Okay. Well, we'll have a briefing in the morning and they'll basically tell us like about the sales and, you know, top sellers in the store, surveys, customers, and all that crap, right? And then also if anybody has any announcements, they say their announcements then. So um, the new manager for this store, she was... Um, she once worked there as a VM assistant. She got promoted as a supervisor, and now she has also got promoted to be the manager over at this store. So, um, me and her had a really good relationship. Like we worked together before when she was a VM assistant, and you know we always like been in contact with each other because we were always supporting at other stores together. Blase, blase. So. She made an announcement, which I know it came from her heart. And they also got me, you guys, a card, a team, which had me in freaking tears, okay? Like, it's such a bittersweet moment today. And they also got me my favorite candy, which is Twizzlers, and then this beautiful card, um, which, you know, was really, really nice. I knew my team, or the team, I don't like to say my team, but I knew the team, like I knew we, we are literally like a little family together at VM, so I really am going to miss them a lot. Um, I really am gonna miss them a lot. Like you get used to seeing people every day, you get used to being entangled in people's lives and keeping up with them. And like, I feel like I'm gonna be missing out on them what's going on because you know I, I will no longer be working with the company so it's bittersweet too because you know this is my time for me to grow and become the woman that I know I can be and I'm having to I guess leave behind some people who have played a huge factor in my development and in my growth when it comes to who I am as a person I would never shame Primark the company um, because I have learned so much about myself and have grew tough skin and also have learned things that I can apply to my own business um, when it comes to me so forever I will be grateful to Primark for one the opportunity for me to even be able to be creative for giving me a creative space to have fun um, my favorite thing doing at Primark like when it came to visual was the trend room having to be able to create my own room based upon a trend that is trendy. Um, and then aside from that, dressing mannequins. I feel like Primark has definitely gave me confidence when it comes to fashion and when it comes to just going for it and um, just owning it. Like, you know, I, I definitely feel like I left my stamp here at Primark and I don't know if they feel like, I just don't feel appreciated. Like, okay, let me get to the, the nitty gritty. So basically, at a briefing, you know, she made the announcement, you know, that today's my last day, and everybody was quiet, like, there were crickets, and, you know, what you would think they would say is, you know, like, thank you so much for your time, you know, working here, you know, we're definitely gonna miss you and your creativity, or, you know, just something, things that common folks say, you know, just something, but, no, I'm gonna have to stop right here, because I don't wanna pull up on them yet, just common things folks would say to you know an employee that they appreciate but I guess I'm wrong in this because I expected them to to give me that basically like to give me that validation that you know 
you were appreciated and i told you guys already like that's my toxic trait i really struggle with always needing to have validation i feel like if i don't get validation i feel like i'm not doing something right i feel like it's ugly it's shitty it ain't gonna be worth nothing and i really want to dig myself out of that so i'm really kind of upset with myself too for being upset about this because I, I need to call my mom too like because i need to like vent about it because i just really feel some type of way and Khadija was just like, Jazz, they're just haters. And, you know, basically like a big dream because they were asking me like, you know, oh, where are you going? And I told them that I'm working for myself, which sounded like so powerful, so scary. So like this shit is real um, in that moment. But she was saying, you know, like such a big dream like that people won't understand like small-minded people people who have made the conscious decision to stay in retail and i'm not saying that there's anything wrong with staying in retail but don't knock somebody for wanting to bet on themselves and wanting to you know grow within their own business and work for themselves and for no one to say anything kind of just felt like a slap in my face a like a fuck you like a I want her to fail like she ain't gonna be shit this shit ain't never gonna be nothing and all it does is it pushes me because I'm not saying they set I don't know I don't know I just I'm in my feelings I'm I'm really in my head but it's just like the silence to me this is how I'm translating it and now it's just like already I was motivated you know like I'm, I'm motivated now but having that type of response just makes me furthermore feel like one i made the right decision and two i want to fucking shit on all of these people i want to show them that nigga i am worth something you had a fucking gem in this store okay i did so much for this store i i i, I put you guys all in the background i held myself back from my own personal growth to fucking focus on primark and to not even get a fucking thank you from the leadership team or the hr team it's just i'm just very disappointed and i'm very hurt about by this right now um and i just feel like i need to just talk it out cry it out um i'm a very sensitive girl you guys like my feelings get hurt relatively easy i'm building on my tough skin i will get there one day but this is just how I feel at the moment <clears throat> I'm just really upset so anyways let's go to something really positive so like I said they gave me a card and the card says when success comes to one of us it comes to all of us and then they also gave me a Dunkin Donuts gift card because you guys know I'm forever at Dunkin Donuts so that was really 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 nice and in the car when you open it they left me messages and it says may this accomplishment raise your spirit and carry your dream forward with pleasure and pride we lift you up today congratulations and it says this is new manager her name's dahlia she said jasmine as sad as i am to see you go i'm so excited for you to take this exciting next step in your life i truly admire your bravery and wish you nothing but the best thank you jade one of our bm assistants Jasmine, I'm so excited for you and wish you all the best. I'm so grateful for everything you've taught me and for meeting me. You got this, Jade. And then Khadija. <laughs> hey, friend, I'm so proud of you, but I am sad that I won't have you right across from me because she works in the men's department and I work in the women's and they're literally diagonal or parallel to one another. Um, but you are taking a huge step up like a boss. Keep pushing. I'm only an hour away if you need me. <laughs> Heart Khadija. So this was really, really nice. Um, I'm happy to know that they at least appreciated me and uh, shared that appreciation with me. I mean, maybe you guys can tell me, like, am I overreacting? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I don't know all right hey you guys so we are back at the crib and i wanted to show you guys what i bought myself as a parting gift uh, from primark now the first thing that i'm about to show you is just something that i've been wanting for a while i've been eyeballing a pair of them and i figured i would just go for it i guess um now i didn't buy the adult sizes because i'm all about trying to save a buck if i can and i just need it for the look more so than anything so these are not the air force ones but i bought me some air 
forces i've been wanting just a plain crisp white pair and i just want to style these up like crazy i know these are like trending like crazy right now but this is a trend that i'm actually like really digging the vibes i really feel like it goes with um my style and what, what i like so i gifted myself a pair of white nikes once again these are not the air force ones but close enough i get the look these were $55 if you buy them in kit sizes versus spending $90 for the adult ones. I also wanted to show you guys really quick my little picture that I had at work on the board that represented me showing that I'm the supervisor. It's so crazy because this picture was taken two years ago today actually which is like how ironic is that? So um, this is when I had grew my hair out at one point and I had got um what is it called when they braid your hair down crochet these were crochet braids so just crazy to see like hmm we don't quite look the same um and then i'm gonna make sure i hold really tight to my card and my gift card for duncan hold on to these receipts i learned my lesson <laughs> and then from primark i just bought these sandals because these are so mother effing cute i'm really all about like color you guys know i love color so i thought these would be cute for the little bit of summer that we do have left and then you guys know that i love dollar tree press on nails but primark really offers a lot of really good press on nails as well so i went ahead and purchased one two three four five and they were all two dollars a piece so i have lime green pair i have this matte um lilac color i have a white pair that are what are these the glossy ones i have like a peach red pair and then the pair that i'm like super excited about putting on are these i think i'm going to put these on tonight before i go to sleep um I just figured that like with doing these jackets, I really can't get my nails done because I did get them done one time. I got a gel manicure and literally within two days they were already peeling away because I'm using my hands so much and it's just not worth the $30. I'd rather spend $250 if it pop off I can glue it back on, I can keep gluing it back on um, until you know it ain't good no more and then I could just jump to another pair. So. I'm gonna do this because I do like to have my nails done um, but I'm all about having short nails I can't have anything long because once again I'm using my hands so much that I, I don't need nails I will break them so this is my way of keeping my fingers done and being cute so overall though um, I was in my feelings a little bit um, at work you know going into work it just was kind of like bittersweet just kind of you know more so reminiscing about all that I have learned at Primark and knowing like who I was um, when I first entered the store coming from Forever 21 very timid very scared very new in my role not experienced at all when it came to merchandising and being afraid that I wasn't going to be good enough and then leaving very skilled confident in my role as a um, visual merchandiser a lot more confident in my styling i need to get more confident in my styling when it comes to styling me but when it comes to styling mannequins and others i really do believe that i have i have a good eye i don't like to say that a lot but i do think i have a good eye i i know i get on you guys with nerves and um because i'm not very like vocal about being confident in like my skill or anything but for me i just it makes me feel uncomfortable i don't know like i always want to remain humble level-headed modest about my stuff and just let it speak for itself and i don't have to speak for it and like i told you guys before like i'm a work in progress i'm not perfect obviously you guys know that no one is perfect um and every day is me just trying to better myself it's, it's not gonna happen overnight so and that is that but like i said this morning i am thankful for primark i have learned so much about myself if it wasn't for primark to be honest with you guys i wouldn't even be here right now doing what i'm doing you know every 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 decision you make leads you to x y and z you know leads you to the path that you take and had i not quit my job at forever 21 and came over to primark like who knows where I would be right now I, I, I would not be the same person so um although that journey has been rocky exciting and all of those things um I'm I'm ready for this journey too and to see 
who I will be on the other side of this in two, three years. Because I worked with the company for about two, um, two and a half years. So, thank you, Primark. Um, although I didn't get the appreciation that I was looking for, um, I'm just going, I know, I, I'm, I don't need to need them to say that I was a good worker in that, you know, I, I know I left, I left my mark at that store or and I left my mark within the company um, and I will never be forgotten and I don't need to have validation from them and that is that so I know what I brought to the table when it came to Primark I know what kind of employee I was I know I gave myself 100% um, and everything happens for a reason so like my parents were telling me like this is just a learning experience lessons learned you know this is corporate and this is how it is sometimes so you can't expect you just you can't expect people to do you how you would do them so i'm gonna leave it on that note hey you guys so i just finished doing my makeup i just went downstairs and spray painted on some sweatpants i just kind of want to get like an idea of like what that would look like um if i like cut up a little bit on it and all of that so i'm doing a test run of that and I just ran back upstairs, so I'm getting ready to start to film my Throwback Thursday TBT t-shirt design video. So, I just want to pop in and show you guys, like, how my lashes look with a full face on. Mm. Super cute. I'm really loving this mother effing hair, you guys. Like... I always loved green on me when you just see the green and I've always loved pink on me too when you see the pink so just having the two together like I'm really digging it we're about to go ahead and set up for this last episode of TBT t-shirt design which I'm actually really sad to see it go um, because I've had so much fun <laughs> urges of like sparks of creativity where I'll think of something and I'm like I gotta do it like I gotta do what I'm thinking of <clears throat> right now in this moment I don't know why I'm that way which is like those sweatpants I had sweatpants on originally before I threw these jeans on and I was like bro I gotta I gotta get this idea out of my head really fast and like I told you guys before like when I work on stuff for myself I really don't be caring if it comes out perfect because art is not perfect right so me i'm not aware no matter what i'm gonna funk it so let's do that if you guys are wondering too like what the heck is this little piece that's floating on you this was another random urge i literally cut like three shirts today guys okay three well one was a pair of pants and two shirts because i'm just in this cutting up mood like i'm just i just want my my wardrobe to reflect me and my wardrobe oh shit 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 my um my style is kind of just like i don't know like artsy vibes i feel like why you got them glasses on <laughs> i felt like this is how i clean my room this is my eyelashes oh yeah sure she got the butterfly effect i still want to get mine like that next time i like that let me see them again don't be blinking extra cute. Um, I don't even remember what I was, what I was talking about, you guys, before she came in here. But there we go. There's the light. So I like to also use my little stepping stool as my seat because I don't like to sit flat on the ground. I had to, to put my phone on the charger real quick for the one time. I've never filmed on this and I'm not going to today. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah. That's a cute picture. Here. You want me to be great? You want me to be great? 
all right so we are all done with filming that so now i'm just listening back to the footage to make sure i don't sound crazy because when you do the voice memo well you know voice memo it records it there this is just bringing the voice memo to your mouth now if you guys haven't already make sure you check out episode one for more information about the series and about what this series entailed so we are going to be using three of you guys and i'm not going to be revealing who they are you, you know, know what to do, do. Definitely, definitely keep, keep on, on watching. watching i love saying that <laughs> so Oh my gosh okay here we go so we're gonna get straight to it you guys can already tell by the theme of this music in the background that this is definitely about to be something revolving around brown skin girls so it sounds pretty good it sounds pretty legit so i think we're gonna move on so i'm gonna go ahead now and send the photos from my camera which is on this one to my mm, i might have to do that on my lap well yeah i'm gonna have to pull it up on my laptop because the video for khadijah <laughs> Let me remind you of today's to-do list really quick before we move further. I need to send Khadija her photos of these lashes and my face. It's time to boss up. Fix your credit, girl. Get at it. Get your bag. I want to post a post on Instagram because I'm trying to build up my engagement rate and I just want to look more involved on my social media account just so I can start branding myself to brands um, so I can, you know, one day get a sponsorship. And then um, once we do that, Khadija posts on Insta. We're going to check on the sweatpants and then we're going to edit this video for Khadija really quick and then I'm going to edit my TBT design video once i do that i'm gonna take a break <laughs> take a break because i haven't even eaten yet it is three o'clock now i haven't even eaten yet so i want to eat and then we'll get back into um being on the computer which will be then making the actual design time has ticked away it is now 9 47 i have done Kandija's video i did the sweatpants she really really loved it i'm on facetime with her right now she wants to wave hey Kandija. what else i did oh i took pictures in the sweatpants so this is what they turned out like I want to do more on these. I want it to be like a sporty vibe, but just something quick to put together. I'll do that. So today has been like a, like a lot of just random urges. I told you guys, I cut up like three things. Then I just had the random urge to do this. You just got to flow with the random urges when they come. Because sometimes the random urges be that thing that take you to the next level. You just got to rock with that. And now I'm about to go ahead and start to edit this IGTV because I haven't done it yet. Hey you guys, good morning. I just got up um, to get my 5,001 pills that I have to take for my skin. I will show you guys a close up of my skin too in a second. Once I take these, um, today is Wednesday. It is 8.16 in the morning, if you guys can see that. Um, so last night I ended up getting sleepy. I always be trying to push myself a little bit too much. I did a little bit too much. Well, I ain't gonna say I did too much yesterday, but um, I just, I be wanting to accomplish what I said on the table. But the only thing that I did not complete yesterday was actually making the design. And I didn't finish um, editing TBT, but majority of the video is edited. I just need to edit the outro part. And then, um, yeah, so I figured I'm going to take these pills, my vitamins, and then I'm going to get up and get dressed. I'm not going to put a face on today because I want my skin to breathe. I always have to yank my head back when I take pills because I just cannot. Okay, so this is what my skin is looking like now. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see up close. So as you can see, these pimples are really starting to flatten out. All of this is smooth, by the way. Everything is flat. Like, I don't even like touching my face, but I know I'm about to wash it, so everything's flat. I'm happy about it. So it looks like these B5 pills are working. Today makes it one week officially that I've been taking them. Um, they say you really see results with the panathonic acid 
in a two week two week <laughs> two week time frame so we'll see what i look like in two weeks if you like what you've seen so far why don't you just go ahead and hit subscribe girl go ahead and take two seconds subscribe subscribe <laughs> subscribe i promise you you won't regret it so hey what's up today is thursday um and it is 12 38 in the afternoon um remember i told you guys in my last vlog that i was going to change up my drawing just because i wanted um to be a little bit more legit you know we had this before and i've now have upgraded it and moved it over into this so we look a lot better um but i'm kind of having like a brain fart right now and I'm like really nervous about this jacket, you guys. Like every jacket I'm nervous about just because I want to do a good job. I have another one that's blank. So I don't mess this one up completely of an idea that I want to do. But I'm trying to grasp inspiration right now like online of other things that I've seen people do. But I don't want to like copy, you know, what other people have done. I want to be inspired. So I think I'm going to like look over on Pinterest and see if I can find anything. The creative process in itself takes a minute to really like get there and marinate on, all right, what am I about to do? What's my plan? Um, and that's why I told you guys before, like why I wanted to do these drawings so I can kind of just map out um, all that's in my head onto paper to make my life a little bit easier and to have the opportunity to mess up on paper versus mess up on someone's jacket. So that's where we are right now. And I am struggling. I am struggling, you guys. I did get around to finishing TBT yesterday. So I was really happy about that. If you guys are interested in watching me also on there, um, you can check it or watching out the... Uh, the episode I'll show you guys right now, like how the design came out. I really, really like it. And this is going to be up for sale on Girls Rocking Fade. So if you are interested in snagging you a brown skin girl tee, definitely check out the website there. So now I'm just going to continue to try to make something shape. <laughs> come back and show you guys how the drawing came out it is now friday august the 14th so this is what it looks like um i think this is the way that i'm gonna do it moving forward because i have like little notes if you guys see on there of what all i need to add the customization and then it's like i'm not sitting here making it up on the whim which is taking up time it's already pre-planned if i make adjustments while i'm doing the jacket so be it but at least i have like a map pretty much so with that being said we pretty much are done with the jacket for the back part the only thing i still need to do is the square studs part up at the top there once i do that um the back will be done and then we can go ahead and finalize the front so we are slowly getting there you guys but because i have these on now um I can I know I can speed up my process especially with doing that having an idea before I even go in will help out so much and I don't really have much to add on the front I just need to do some spray painting some more writing and then a little bit more sewing and then we'll be done we'll send her over her final photos um, but before we do that I need to reach out to every one of you who have ordered with me um, in the beginning and I need to let you guys kind of know or not kind of let you guys know that I'm going to have to adjust your turnaround time just because 
and I'm not delivering. And I don't want anyone thinking like I forgot about them or anything like that. I just want to keep everybody posted and updated. So I'm going to sit here and do that really quick. I mean, we were just sitting back, you know, <laughs> chopping it up, reminiscing about the good old days and all that. <laughs> you know, tracking my roots, where I came from and where I'm going. But like I say, man, always said it. It's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. It is currently 12.20 in the morning, um, but with it being 12.20 in the morning, we are officially done with this jacket. There's only a few things that I do need to do, but they're like minor things. I just need to spray paint the buttons, or yeah, the buttons, um, white on the front, just to finalize that. And then I need to take pictures for her, which I'm trying to straighten out the jacket now. Okay. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? Okay, here we go. Every single diamond was put in by your girl. Do you hear me? Every single diamond. In loving memory of her daughter. I wanted this to feel like life, bringing celebration to her life, which is why I went with such bold colors. But as you guys can see, the primary color is purple and pink for her favorite colors. And this is the front. So it kind of feels like graffiti art. So on this side, this is our life side where we're really celebrating her daughter with her daughter loving butterflies, her daughter being born 1989, and then a quote about butterflies that says, the life, um, the life of butterflies closely mirrors the process of spiritual transformation. And then on this side, her daughter, she said it was like really bougie and like um, loved to shop and all of that stuff. So. We have her name written all out here, just as a reminder that this is in memory of her daughter. We also have where it says bougie on purpose. And then we have here where it says to fly. And I purposely wrote out the word to, the, like the number two spelled it out to. Because when you read the jacket going across to 19, 1989, it reads her birthday, the day that she was born. So I wanted to come up with like an innovative way to have her birthday represented on here where it's not spelled out, which also reminds me the number on the back 89 is for also in reference to the year that she was born. And then we have just a quote to represent, I guess like a bougie girl or a girl that's very sure about herself. Um, and it says she's got that sophisticated, street, spiritual, soulful, smart, savage thing about her. And then this is the jacket, you guys. I hope you like it. I really love it. And I hope she loves it as well when I do send her over the photos. This was very time consuming. And I, oh, I also added this part as well at the end. So we have like this, which was the bottom half of the jacket. I cut it and I sewed it down the hem of here. And then I ripped it over so it can kind of have like that texture and have that kind of like aha, like we're revealing the studs moment and sewed that down. And then just at the end, I didn't like it plain. So I added another butterfly just to add balance with butterflies being over there and they're also being represented over here as well we went from the drawing board to real life and i'm very very proud of this i think it looks really really good what i have left to do like i told you guys is i need to spray paint the buttons um i want to make the buttons all white so i need to do that and then i also just need to go ahead and steam this because it is a little wrinkly just for me like gathering up the material with doing like all of the diamond studs on the back so i just want to get a steam to make sure she's good with that but the only thing with studs that really sucks is that you have this exposed back um, which I need to add like some type of lining like I need to go to the store and buy something so it's not stabbing the heck out of her That was a lessons learned from one of my previous jackets I did the Tokyo theme one She said that it was just a little itchy just because of all the stuff So I just want to add something over it with like some fabric glue um, Just to make sure that we can avoid that <laughs>
some of the fabric. Um, I'm just going to let that dry for the night and finish the rest in the morning. I just wanted to show you guys that I ended up not going with white. I just felt like let me just stick to the color scheme. So we went with purple and pink. And this is my little bootleg set up to spray paint that really quick. So let that dry and then we'll be back in the morning. Hey you guys, so today is Sunday. Um, I just wanted to show you like how I went about doing this lining on the inside to try to at least um, alleviate some of the itchiness as much as possible. So, okay, so if I zoom in really close, there's like these little specks, right? And it can be a little bit irritating on the skin. So I figured I would take a piece of fabric like you guys saw um, and I would just kind of line it. Now I can still feel the itchiness a little bit, but I feel like it doesn't feel as bad. So I just want to go ahead, cover this side up, flip the jacket over and then do the same thing on the opposite side. You guys already see I did this. I know this looks bootleg. Um, once again, I feel like it just adds a little bit more personality to the jacket. And then, um, yeah, so I have to do it all going down the arms because that I'm sure she will feel more than likely. And then just up here where I have it as well. So let's get started on finalizing this. Once that dries down, we'll steam it, take pictures for her, and then we'll be done with this. And then we'll go ahead and start our fresh new drawing for our next jacket. guys so I finished everything on the inside of this one and I'm finished with it I just sent over her photos to her through insta I just got done also drawing my next sketch for my next jacket I have all of my supplies here of like the vibe that I'm going for so I decided to go with kind of like a schoolgirl varsity theme she wants it to be um built around like fitness geek and the colors that she wants are red gold and green it really gives me like those school color vibes especially like the gold and the red so I kind of drew up it's like I said these are all like rough sketches but I kind of drew up like an idea of what I want to go with everything that I'm going to do is not on here I make adjustments as I go but just something for me to kind of like vibe off of so she wants the planner's character to be drawn on there so I roughly like drew him out like where I would want him um, she does want like splatters of paint so I have like where I want my little um, splotches of paint to be these right here is like where I'm gonna have the plaid so I'm gonna have a, a panel of plaid fabric here a panel of plaid fabric there and then I want to have a number two to represent as she has on the back on the front like I said we're doing varsity theme and most of the time whatever's on the back they have on the front represented as well I have where I'm gonna do my distressing marks at um, I'm also going to spray paint or paint. I haven't decided yet, like the panels on the jacket here. Um, and then everything else is just like little notes for me. So we're off to something. So we're going to see what we could shake. I need to make a trip though to Hobby Lobby. I have me a little list over here of some things that I need to buy. But before I do that, I want to go upstairs, take my photos that I always take, you know, on my rack. Um, and then move forward with editing and finishing up you guys and then we'll get started with like the distressing on this jacket and um, everything that I can do as of right now.
Alright you guys, so on that note, I'm going to sit here and um, edit these photos and take a look at what they look like on my iPad. And then I'm just going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Um, the beginning of this week was a little bit rough, you know, with, um, I guess, my farewell to leaving retail. However, everything happens for a reason. Take it as lessons learned. Um, as far as myself, I definitely need to create a schedule. I said I was going to do that. Um, but now this week, uh, being my first week of working for myself, I see that I need to do that and I need to create some sort of balance because um, it's just a lot, okay? Um, and yeah, I really, really, really love how this jacket turned out. I hope you guys like it as well. If you do, definitely give it, give this video a thumbs up and also let me know your comments down below. Um, and I'm excited to start my new one which should be interesting. Um, like I told you guys before, I'm nervous about every single jacket that I do going into it. Uh, but the process of creating it paper to actual product is really fun and it always works itself out somehow, some way. And I'm really happy about that. So once again, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, definitely give it a thumbs up. Remember to follow me on my other social media accounts like Instagram and Snapchat. All that information will be linked down below. Remember also too that if you want to inquire about a denim jacket, all you have to do is one, either DM me at Jazz Originals or at Eclectnista Jr. Or you can email me um, at info at jazzoriginals.com or you can check out the link that's also in the bio where there's a questionnaire. And that's all I got for you guys. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next weekend. Peace out.